you want to reach people who haven't thought about the issues of conservation. Um, so the show has to be entertaining enough, um, but at the same time deliver the message. But what we found was when we got into this that actually the message of our time, what is happening to our world now, is an extraordinary story. It's the most important story. And actually, by telling that bigger story, it made the narrative stronger. Um, we were constantly worrying about the issue of what to do, how far to go, where the balance was. And we regularly sort of checked ourselves. But at the end of the day, I think when you make a show like this, the one thing you can't do is lose your nerve. And you have to sort of think, right, we have a belief that this is the right thing to do and the right way to kind of do it. Um, when we were set off to, to film in that location, we, no one had heard of this event where walrus fall off cliffs. So it came back to us and the crew was shell-shocked. And I looked at the rushes and I found it deeply, deeply disturbing. But the whole issue of what we knew as soon as we saw that, that this was probably going to be the footage that would become most associated with the climate change um, horror that's happening to Arctic species. So it was very, very important footage. And um, hopefully it'll make a difference. It was always about nature and the importance of nature. And what we desperately wanted to get across to people is that humanity cannot survive without nature. In the whole history of the Earth, the Earth basically is an unstable planet and stability is brought to it by nature. And the more complex nature gets, the more stable the Earth gets. And our whole civilization, everything is built, our agriculture, all our systems are built on the stability that we only get through nature. And um, if we can get that point across, that nature is not nice to have, it's crucial to have, because we as humans cannot exist on an unstable planet, then we're in with a chance. Because I think once people realize that they are actually at risk, and this is important to them, we'll start to see things move even faster. And these people are now acknowledging that actually it's a state of emergency, because it is. There's the, you look at all the evidence and there's, there's mounds and mountains of it that show that this is an emergency and, and it has to be dealt, dealt, dealt with. The next step is, so what are you going to do about an emergency? We were always a bit nervous about, say, going to somewhere like the World Economic Forum and presenting wildlife, natural history, and you think, is anyone going to show up? And every time the room has been packed, and they've had to put on other screening rooms. And so, so there's a real, it's, it's, it's given me the most hope I've had in years that business and finance people are really interested in this subject. And if they are, you know you're onto something, that change is coming.